Hey guys, back again, and today we will see this example of how we can translate an application, in this case Angular, to different languages. So just let me go back to my um, my Git bash. We will be using command prompt for this. I will explain why. The CMD or the regular terminal, not Git bash. So just give me a second to say ng, no ng build no, we will not see that, but I will leave you uh, all that in the description. Configuration equals es 419 and that should be it. So what this is going to do is to run a configuration that is going to grab or um, translations for whatever we set in the application and it's going to load it. So how you would do this in production? You will have all your uh, translations in a folder. We will see that in a, in a bit, uh, how to set up your, your translations. But the thing is that depending on your hosting, you will need to do some adjustments in order to add another version using the um, file that has the translation, I don't know, for uh, Spanish, French, Italian, or whatever. Okay, so you will need to set up that uh, depending on how your server is going to work or is working. So you can see that it refresh and now everything is in Spanish. Let me move that away. Okay, so you can see that everything is in Spanish and that's it. So I'm just going to translate only to Spanish because um, it's the same for the other languages. So let me just cancel this and uh, well, I'm going to close this. So uh, while this is still in the browser, let's just take a look at Adobe XD. So I have this little and um, pretty simple minimal design, okay, nothing too fancy, um, only to give you know, a, a nice look to the application and of course it's, this is it's still working because uh, it's still uh, being cached in the browser so it has kind of a responsiveness into it okay, not a ton, but yeah so yeah let me just, okay, just uh, minimize this and tell you one thing that you will see that all these are set it as a background, okay, in case you want to follow um, or to do your own uh, thing with XD. All that is set as a background. What you could do, because uh, this is not going to show, just a heads up, nothing, um, you know, so, I, okay. Because uh, it's not showing up because um, this is a background and as we resize or as the screen becomes smaller, then some features are just being hidden. And remember that currently um, I have this for 1920 for 1080. Okay, so this is the resolution, the regular resolution on which you are going to work in Adobe XD. But the browser, the browser, no, sorry, the screen on which I am recording is um, smaller than that, is a 720 uh, resolution. So uh, we are seeing like a, you know, a, well, we are seeing a smaller version of that. So that's why this is not um, displaying correctly or it's just hiding some things, but this will look fine on 1080 resolution um, displays, okay? Just a heads up. And I show you already how to export those, okay? Uh, all these that are not grouped, uh, you can export those as SVGs. If you want me to do something like this, um, you know, a uh, design, um, just let me up, let me know in the comments, and I will do that. Okay. So, okay, I'm going to minimize this and. So this is the project that, that I have and this is what we're going to do. I already have the application using Angular 9. Okay, so this is just the boilerplate that you get 
when you create your application using ng new and in this case it's called angular international inside this angular international youtube um, folder so let's open this with the cmd sorry i already have the cmd so let's say ng serve so this might take a bit and let's open this again in vs code because i don't have that yet okay so it's open let me show you my package that json it's been a while since i done this so you can see that everything angular core is running on version 9.0.6 around that or at least that version i mean so and a few things that were that we're going to see you can add them as scripts okay so you have everything uh, automated so let's see if this is uh, ready okay it's a building still okay this shouldn't take that long okay so we are running the new uh, iv so everything has changed and the application is faster and smaller so let's just refresh this and you can see this this is the simple um, boilerplate that you get and all that so what is the first thing that we are going to do we're going to close this process and say cls to clear the console and we need to install a new um, schematic we are using the schematics a new module which is let's say just give me a second i have it on my notes okay ng at angular dash and is localized this wasn't available with windows uh, with windows sorry with angular 8 okay so we used to uh, do um, a few things different in terms of configuration but now it's simpler that's why i have another version so we hit enter and this should install and while this is installing let's go to our project source index.html no sorry app and let's delete all this crap and just give me a second so i can get on my other okay so we're going to say something div class equals container okay so we're going to add everything inside a container and we're going to add the navigation so how we're going to tell because we're going to do that in a second what the hell how we're going to tell angular in this case that we want to translate something or that uh, we want it to be marked so okay it's already done you can see that let's say ng serve and if i save this uh, this is only going to show us a blank page but i'm going to copy the next uh, ul and paste it inside this navigation so we have an li and can i make this okay a little so you can see we have a list inside it has a strong tag with this a uh, property or attribute added which is i18n this is going to tell angular which sections of our application we want to translate in this case we're going to um, grab this angular international okay let's go back and let me add the header copy the header and you will see that this is fairly simple let's just move that there okay for the indentation let's just uh, focus only on this so i have let me just do this again i have again an h1 with the i18n and an anchor with the i18n again so everything that needs to be set uh, for translation is going to have that um, attribute so let me just copy the main and 
paste it. Okay, so this is uh, just the content. You can see we have some images and uh, a deep class separator. We have also the i18n on every part, every H2 and every P that we want to translate. Okay, so we save this and this should reload. And you can see we have this. Okay, in case you do uh, the, uh, let me, in case you add this property, the i18n, before you install the localize, then it's going to tell you, dude, uh, you need to install first using ng add angular localize, the function that is going to allow us to translate that, and then we can move on. Okay, so you will receive an error and that is uh, the only thing that is going to happen. So, we already have this. Let's move now to uh, what we are going to do. So, of course, we still don't have anything uh, translated. We just marked it for Angular to know that that part or those uh, parts um, needs to be um, grabbed okay so how we're going to grab those we're going to grab those using ngx i18 sorry if you can hear some banging i don't think obs is taking that but there's people working on the next um, house so well nothing i could do or nothing i can do so i hope it doesn't take that uh, too much so we have the ngx i18n but we're going to add something so let me just highlight this so you can see it better so what this is going to do is just uh, give us a message that xlf a file that is going to allow us to translate okay but this is going to just drop it okay inside the the application but we want to do something with this we want to tell it the output but because we want to store all the translations or all the files that we want for the translations and uh, for our server to grab them okay in a specific directory so it's a um, output path source slash local okay so that's all and let's hit enter and let me just highlight it again once more so you can see that I hope you can see it uh, fine so again this is going to create a local f um, directory inside or folder inside or source a folder inside or angular application on which we will be able to store every translation that we want to add it's going to add a message that xlf if I'm not mistaken so let's just uh, wait for this to run so it's going to take a bit meanwhile that's why i do this so i don't have to okay so we have the youtube and let's go to assets and we're going to drop some things here let me just minimize my obs and so i have on my other um, application the assets that i'm going to use so let me just show you this so for example let's see this masks uh, SVG and you can see that this is the um, you know the all the group or the group with all the elements that I group from um, Adobe XD and I just uh, as I said group them and uh, exported those as SVGs you can see that SVG and that's it Okay, so we're going to just grab all this again if you want me to uh, add uh, because I have one Adobe XD uh, simple course well simple application but if you want for example well, I don't have that for example um, to see how to structure a page just let me know and uh, I will do it so let's go back here and so we don't have this running yet okay so why this is not doing anything okay so 
let me check the did I run this okay it, it, well it just started as soon as I uh, canceled the process so we will have to wait a second for this and I will add the CSS in, okay this is uh, starting to run it's taking a bit I don't know why maybe because I have all the process uh, running that um, are from Adobe maybe that's why it's taking a little bit so here here we are in the angular international youtube so we will see a local folder now created okay it's done actually it doesn't take that long but you know um, well this is how these things are so if we double click this and go inside we will see a messages that xlf and we can actually open this with code and you can see what we have so just a brief explanation we have an id for every unit a unit sorry or section that we mark with the uh, x 18n and the source is in what angular is going to take and translate using a new tag or a tag for well, not new but a tag called target so we will add the target let me just uh, copy well let me just type it why not angular international international okay so it's going to take this source and translate it into or change it into what we have inside this target source you can do a ton of things with this but um, you know that's um, more complex so once you understand once you understand the basics you will easily move forward so uh, i'm not going to take um, you know check all those that you can add um, well i can't even remember but you can add several things you can check it on the documentation for angular but yeah uh, in this case we're just going to uh, translate we don't even care now with um, with uh, about other attributes classes and all that we are not going to worry about all those tags all those different tags that we have not classes I, well, I said classes but um, we're just going to focus on setting this target which is going to replace the current um, source that we have okay so in fact i think that i can actually paste all that i have here okay inside this and let's see um well let me just say ng serve again to have that and this alone is not going to do anything okay it's just well going to tell angular okay we have the part that i told you to mark and the part that i want you to use in order to change the other thing okay but we actually need to need to go inside the angular that json and this is kind of the complicated part because you need to set them inside um, your project okay so just give me a second okay okay and I forgot something a uh, really really fast there are different sets or naming conventions for the language so you will need to check that I forgot to do it so sorry about that i will uh, check it and leave a link in the description so you can check your um, you know uh, all those things so what i need to do is to rename this using messages slash es slash i think i have it at 14 19. just let me uh, double check that uh, nope sorry is that so let me just rename it and messages that es1419 is that correct it seems correct okay 
So this is how you're going to name your uh, files, messages that uh, in case you're using French or you're using um, uh, Spanish from Spain, this this Spanish is um, Latin America, okay? So that's why we have the ES419. And all the namings that I will show you later, uh, I will leave a link in the description for you to see that. So this should be running right now. So let's just take a look at this. So you can see we have all the pictures and everything should work or is working correctly, but we still uh, or we are still not able to translate the uh, application. But we're going to take a look at how to set our Angular JSON right now. So we need to go inside the projects. So let me just uh, go here inside the projects. So we will see our Angular app name, which is this one. Okay, and you can see we have a, a JSON structure below it or a, an object. And we need to add the next thing. Just give me a second so I can look for it. Okay, below, I added that below the project type. So let's paste it. And we have this, let me just uh, make it bigger, i18n locals and here we specify uh, using or um, the naming of the correct translation that we want to use. So you can see localization file to use for i18n and it's inside the source local, the name is messages that is dash 419 dash dot xlf and you would do this adding another one um, for French you know and uh, do whatever you want with that so you will add all your namings or your translations inside this next what we need to do next so let me just move that Make it smaller. I have two versions, okay, uh, the one you are seeing and the other one on my other um, screen, and both are changing the font size. That's pretty neat, actually. So, okay, so we need to go to Architect. We can just say Control F. Architect around line seventeen. Inside build, if I'm not okay, inside build and configurations, where are configurations? Okay, so we are here. No, sorry, not inside build, a uh, build and configurations. And below production, we can specify the next thing. So give me a second. This is the tricky thing because you will need to check. Um, everything okay so is I think is this one okay yeah configurations okay inside configurations so we can go all the way down and add it so it's inside configuration sorry so it's inside a uh, architect yeah it's inside build See, this is inside build, sorry, inside configurations and inside the configurations, the we add the, let me just make this bigger, the ES419, uh, with the localized property and we're going to use the naming that we just added. So we save that and we need to move one more or to add, sorry, one more thing that is a, what the hell is, I think, um, on serve, yes, we are on serve, I already saw that, I think, configurations, okay, so, in this section, 
let me just uh, grab that serve so this is as I said the tricky part let me just copy this and so we are inside configurations we need to add a comma here and paste again let me just make this bigger and mark it so you can see that this is what we added the es again the name and we use browser target property and angular a dash international is the name of my application colon build colon es 419 okay so how you know the name of your application so uh, this is the name of your application okay so that should be a uh, all let's save this and that's why i name it using um you know the other name of the application i built before so i don't have to be figuring out uh, anything so you will just need to follow that and change um only this instance where is it only this instance inside the browser target which is below or around line 78 okay, to be the name of your only this part that I'm highlighting that is the name of your application the rest stays the same the column bill column well um, not the same actually because you will need to change this for French um, Italian whatever 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 okay so let's save this let's close that and now let me just okay so this should be actually working so and now we can serve the application using ng well I actually have no it's not here okay it's on, on the other on the git bash so to run it we say ng serve dash dash configuration equals and the configuration name that we gave which is the no 419 if i can type okay so it's ng serve dash dash configuration colon and the translation file or name that you gave so let's hit enter and let's wait for this this should work if not then the only mistake uh, or the only place where we're going to have errors is in the package json let's wait for this okay and if that works i'm just going to cut the video because that is mostly what you're going to use and um or what you need in order to get started with this so there's um other okay i think i fucked that because let's see because um it's not the same id okay well you can see it says uh, localize the application para alcanzar más clientes this is in spanish okay but it's telling me hey dude you don't have uh, okay it seems this one okay let's just take a look at the file it's this one i have it open right um, okay deleted and if we go to source local messages it says uh, the error or the yeah, yeah it even tells us so no translation found for this id and they give you nice messages now so from prototype to global deployment so yes this is actually this, the last one so let's just take a look at this Okay, it seems that 
the only wrong thing is the ID. But you can see that it's only complaining about this. Um, I have a type of here, deployments. So let's just grab all this and say target or well yeah, let me just do uh, something sneaky here um i should be able to hit enter to copy that so maybe that is not the problem but okay let me just one second one second one second Okay, let me just, I'm going to do something. Let's see if it works. I'm going to set again. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah I'm going to build this again. NG, X, and I18, and output path to the local. But what this is going to give us, is going to give us another message that XLF or whatever, um, it is so it's going to give us that whatever the extension I mean so um, we're going to grab the ID and just set it so maybe that is the problem but we will try to troubleshoot this this should not take long if this uh, freaking thing uh, hurries up but that seems to be the problem and you know this is actually one of the only problems that you're going to face that you or you added the target, you uh, misplaced this and added the, the target. I thought this was going to close. Um, inside the source, so for, you know, you might get confused and added uh, something like this. Can we just make this bigger? So the target here is inside the source and that shouldn't be. It's going to prompt you the error, so it's not a big deal. Okay, it's already done. So let's uh, make this smaller and see, compare the files that we have. So um, what the hell? So this should give us, oh, it's not, it's still not done. Okay, okay, what the hell is going on with this? Let's just wait a second, and if that is not okay, I know I know what I'm going to do now. Well, no, I was going to add the styles because it would be a waste to just cut for this, you know. Um, but what the hell is going on with this? Okay, it started building again when I this so this shouldn't um, take that long now. But yeah, that is one of the the things that you're going to face with. Um, so even if I save this, and you can see I copied another file and the IDs are kind of identical. So I don't think that is a problem, but even if this doesn't work, I'm just going to leave it like that. Okay, it's already done, finally. So you can see we get another message. So let's open this with code. And let's see what we have. We have the tree. Uh huh. And let me just check this. Not only your phone for. So let me just scroll back. And you can see this is kind of the same. Is that the same? It's the same. And this ID is different for some reason. Maybe it was on a different line. Let's just copy that and say um, translation. Trans, you know, uh, traduction. Okay, something like that. Just uh, for us to see if that works, if that is the problem. Okay, and let's just wait 
a second so okay let me just make this a little smaller so it's going to take a bit but if that is the problem, you can see from the product type, blah, 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 yeah, it's, that is the, the thing that is going on. If not, I'm just, as I said before, I'm just going to cut and add the styles in case I need to explain anything else, or in case you don't want to see the freaking styles that you are a web design master, not like me, then uh, you can just skip uh, the next video that I'm going to upload. So you can see this is done and traduction so just let me do one more thing just for the lols okay i'm just going to okay that's my dog she likes to she usually sleeps all day but when i'm recording she hears my voice and it's kind of wakey wakey uh, every so often so yeah sorry about that Again, ng serve configuration ES419, and you can add this um, inside your package.json and with the server, depending on your settings or how the server or the hosting is handling the translations, you will just need to run, a, for example, in Heroku, run a proc um, and you know, uh, set it using um, or running the specific uh, script that you added for that version. Okay. So, yeah. So, this is the last thing. Let's wait for this to be done. And you can see it added the traduction there. So, everything else is actually working fine. So, it only changed the other ID. But you get the idea of how this thing works. You can add, um, for example, um, special names or kind of IDs that are something like um, let me just are something like I cannot add it why okay something like a um, double um, who you call this symbols and you add something and I can remember well because uh, usually I don't need to translate any other uh, thing so yeah okay so this is done well this is not done okay you know what I'm just going to um, finish the video here and this is going to work because it worked the first time but for some reason it's compiling now what the hell is going on well we have to wait a, a few more seconds guys sorry about this it's usually it takes you know um, it's pretty fast and I don't blame the uh, engine or anything uh, I blame my machine I have several things there um, you know that are several services that are open and all that so yeah you know and you can see we have now the Spanish version of that okay and that's it everything is working so that's it for this part if you want to see the uh, styling uh, just go to the other part the second part that i'm going to upload after this one and check it out so uh, thanks for watching guys and see you in the next one